stumble or bounce. My hand traces the arm down, I catch the wrist, open my guard as I sit up, moving my hip out, I'm trying to lock the Kimura in and hip sweep. And we talked about if, if the hand's out, I take it. If the hand's in to defend, I always attack the base. And so there's gonna be this back and forth. Sometimes when I go halfway into my sweep, he puts the hand out. So I gotta be able to fall back into that Kimura. So that's a little bit of what we've done uh, earlier in the week. But sometimes when you get out here, um, he puts the hand out and I can, sometimes he puts it back, but I can also start to guide it back by pushing this way. Sometimes you can just run a guy over, but if he puts his hand back here, it helps me set up my triangle. If you're a triangle guy, this is a great setup for you. I'm gonna post, catch, and then I jump triangle on him here to clear that arm hip up, cross the arm, grab the shin bone before I unlock the triangle, foot on the hip, not on the floor, make an angle, make my lock, and then the triangle. So hip bump to triangle. Again, if I go for the Kibora, I'll take it if it's there. If he tucks his hand in, I get up to my hand, take the sweep. If he posts his hand out, I can fall back into the Kimura, or I can guide it back to create space for my triangle. I'll jump, catch the head and arm, hip up to cross it, grab the shin bone before I unlock, foot on the hip, not the floor, make an angle, try to take away any space inside that knee pit, lock my leg, not my foot, and I'll squeeze here, lift the hips, pinch the knees. You can pull on the head too. So one more time. Coming out, I'm looking for my Kimura. He tucks the hand in, I get up to my hand to get the hip sweep. He posts out again. You can fall back into the Kimura or I can guide him back to set up my triangle. Hip up, cross the arm, make my angle, squeeze him out. Let's try it out. One, two, three. So also on that last one, if I do try to run him over, I can always just grab the wrist and pull it in and run him over. I can take him back or hip him over. Some people prefer to run him over. You got good hips. But another issue that happens here is, same thing, I come into the Kimura, he tucks his uh, hand inside the hip and I try to go hip sweep and he just drops his hips. Like solid guy, can't move him, can't get him to post. Pretty tough to get anything going here. I'm gonna move my hip out, my arm's gonna circle the neck here. I move my hip out so there's space between my hips and his neck here so I can find my own hand. I lock that guillotine right here. As soon as I lock it, I shoot, I shoot my hips back under, lock a nice high guard, and then I'm gonna stretch as I'm squeezing the neck and um, try not to lean back too much. If I can start to see the back of his head, he's gonna slip out. So keep your shoulder high and squeeze for the guillotine. Some guys like to go high elbow. You can do that too if you are comfortable with that. Takes away a little bit of space where he can get his hands in there to defend. So again, we're going kind of a hip sweep Kimura series. I go Kimura, he tucks his hand in. I go hip sweep, he drops his hips. I move my hip out, circle the neck, find my hand, lock this grip. Scoot the hips back under, lock nice and high above the hips, stretch them out as I'm squeezing. Get the guillotine right there. So one more time. Boom, tucks it in. I try to go hip up, he drops his hips. I move my hip out, wrap the neck, find my grip, squeeze. Let's try it out, one, two, three. So again, we're going this hip bump Kimura series. I look for the Kimura, he tucks his hand in. I try to go hip sweep, he drops his hips. I move the hip out and I look to attack the neck, but he tucks his chin pretty good. So the hand that's here is just gonna scoop underneath this armpit and I'm gonna lock my hands. So from here, it's a little bit of a neck crank here, that they call it 100%. Ben called it the Uncle Dan, that's fine too. Um, you can lock the guard here and kind of just crank the neck here. Or you can plant your feet on the mat and bridge him over, he'll go. And then I'm gonna post on the mat, grab the tricep so I can sit through into this crucifix here. Boom. Not really legal for most competitions, but it is for some. It's good to know anyways. So again, off that defended guillotine, right? We went through this whole sequence. I move the hip out, he tucks his chin. I'm locking under, I like the three finger grip. You can lock the guard, and try to get the neck crank here. I can bridge and take him over. If I'm not able to gain enough leverage that way, what I'll do is I'll vine the legs out and then the left arm's under hook, so my left foot will go under hook. 
I'll elevate them, take them over with my legs. You can go to mount, or you can sit through, grab the tricep, get this crucifix here. Pretty nasty uh, neck crank there. If I wanted to leave that butterfly hook in that I used to sweep them and keep it legal, I just lift my hips up a little bit and let him take the pressure off by threading his left arm between us, hook the armpit, pull him across, and then I can go to the back. So there's a lot of options here once you can get this going. Kimura, hip sweep, guillotine, scoop, lock, keep that head tucked in there. Option one, right? This first neck crank. Again, I can bridge, take him over. I'll land outside of the guard post, scoop this tricep, sit through, and get the neck crank that way or the crucifix. Good to get all these extra reps in here, running through this sequence. Here. Maybe that's not working. I try to bridge, maybe that's not working. I'll vine him out, creating space for this butterfly hook to come in. Bring his weight back on top of me to make his hips lighter. This little butterfly scissor. See how the knee's out and the toes are in? I have the option to sit out to crucifix or putting pressure on his neck and then giving him space to relieve it hook the armpit, pull them cross body so my hook ends the bottom hook, and then I can start to set up my back tape stuff. You guys got it? Let's try it out. One, two, three.